Okay, now here it is, the last assignment of the course. So you're going to start with a, an empty code window like this and type in a lib name statement. Give it a libref name. This can be anything. I put COH, COH611 because it's the name of the course. In quotes, give the ridiculously long directory name. This is, should not be yours. This is a course I taught, which you are not enrolled in because it's already over. Access... equals read only. If you're a student, you only have read access, so you can't write over something we need for the course. Data example. Give it any name you want. Example is as good as any other. Set COH611. This has to match the libref up here. That's the directory where the data are contained, dot C-H-I-S. This is the California Health Interview Survey data we're using. Semicolon. Notice every statement ends in a semicolon. Probably sick of me saying that, but I don't care. If AB51 equals 2, then diabetes 2 equals 1. That means if this value, if they have diabetes or not, is 2, the person has type 2 diabetes. So I'm creating a new variable. Else, diabetes 2 equals 0. So otherwise, they don't have type 2 diabetes. If 80, 32 equals missing, then 80, 32 equals 0. If AC, 3, 5 equals missing, a period is how SAS denotes missing, then AC, 3, 5 equals 0. What this does is set the values for those variables that identify how many cigarettes you smoke and how often in the last year you've had more than four drinks in a day that is engaged in binge drinking. The people who said they never did that or they don't smoke had missing data, but we want to set them to zero because that makes more sense. This is going to create a variable for if you're obese or not. So now I've set up my data set. I want to do a frequency procedure. So proc freak data equals example using the data I just created. And I want to see tables statement tells me what what I want a distribution for. I want a cross tabulation of obesity times type 2 diabetes. So obese times diabetes 2 slash that, that tells SAS and options coming up chi-square c-h-i-s-q so I want a cross tabulation of diabetes type 2 diabetes times obesity and a chi-square to test if there's a relationship between obesity and type 2 diabetes Park. I'm going to do a t-test. And I my classification variable is going to be whether or not you have type 2 diabetes. And my var statement includes if you have how much you smoke and how much you drink. So here we go, the lib name statement with the directory where the data are located, a data step that creates a new data set, 
reads in the data set that isn't con included in this directory, that's CHIS, the California Health Interview Survey. It creates a new variable, type 2 diabetes, you have it or you don't. I set to zero the people who have missing data for how much they smoke and how often they engage in binge drinking because they said they didn't. I create a new variable called obesity. Then I did a frequency procedure with a cross tabulation of obesity times type 2 diabetes and requested a chi-square statistic. Then I did a t-test with type 2 diabetes as the classification variable. With t-test you need to have two and only two categories and my variables were how often you smoke, how many cigarettes you smoke today that is, and how often in a year you engaged in binge drinking. So I click on my little running guy here And here are my results. Now I want to scroll down to one particular one because this really threw me off and I checked and I triple checked to see if this was correct because this shows that people who do not have diabetes drink more often. In other words, 2.4, so about two and a half times a year, those 38,000 some people who didn't have diabetes said that they had four or more drinks in a day seems like a lot to me. The people who did diabe have diabetes said that they only did that less than once a year. And I was surprised by this because I thought, well, wait a minute, I thought the people who had a less healthy lifestyle would be more likely to have diabetes. Until it occurred to me that if you do have diabetes, you really have to control your diet and the you know, amount of calories and the type of calories you take in. And so probably for someone who has diabetes, that's extremely unhealthy and so they're less likely to do it. But I thought these were really useful results because they're counterintuitive. And so often when people don't get the results they expect, they interpret them incorrectly. But yes, in this case, there is a significant difference between the people who have diabetes and those who don't. And the significance is that the people who do not have diabetes engage in more binge drinking. And then also, as you can see from the plots down here, there is a hugely skewed distribution.